So give me the year and model. The 68 R60 slash 2. You sure did a beautiful job on it. See if I can see if it'll fire up here for you. Get it running. You do good work. Yeah, that was a fun project. Brent put this spike together, built the engine up, designed the fuel injection for it himself. So uh, you remember the time we took these, you took this up to the 49er rally? Yeah, we went oh up yeah. There. yeah, that was a... It that was his maiden voyage. Nice ride. Yeah, I enjoyed that. With the same motor that's in this motorcycle, it's a 1200cc, 36 horse, running on propane. And this is your backup generator for the house. Oh, uh, it runs everything, yeah. yeah. <laughs> A couple of them left over. But the fun part of this was that a guy I used to fly with, he's an American Airlines pilot, lives down the street from me, and he he had a Porsche motor that he he just didn't know what to do with it. He just here take this thing, I'll give it to you, <laughs> you know. And so that's a 356 out of a 356 Super. 1600 Super uh, from was made in 1963. And I imagine you went through it completely. Absolutely went through the thing from top Tra to bottom. Transaxle? Hmm? Transaxle? Uh, it's got the VW transaxle in it. He's kind enough to let me use his sand blaster, his bead blaster. Um, so I'm going to bead blast this uh, gearbox case, this R51 slash 3 gearbox that I'm putting together, rebuilding. It's all taped off, ready for bead blasting. his bead blasting equipment to bead blast this R51-3 uh, gearbox case, uh, which I'm in the process of restoring. So the next step will be to uh, unmask it, take the covers off, flush it out, and then pressure wash it, and then I can start building it back up.